Okay, welcome back. Guys, you are gonna love this video. How to generate insurance leads for your own insurance business with Facebook ads. Now, before I explain why I'm making this video, let me just explain what this video is about and who this video is for. So look, in this video, I'm going to share the exact method from complete start to finish, how you can generate your own highly qualified insurance leads for your business using Facebook ads. Now, regardless if you're doing life insurance, health insurance, or to be honest, any other product, this is gonna completely change the game for you. Now, let me quickly explain who this is for and who this is not for. Realistically, this tutorial video and the system and the processes that I'm gonna give you in this video are for individual protection advisors, sort of one-man bands, solo operations, maybe businesses that have just started where the business owner is doing the calls, the sales, as well as every other job role in the business. And it's really for just brands with smaller budgets who want to get going, want to, and putting a system in place that bring customers coming to them, new leads, directly to their business so they can focus on the stuff that really matters like the sales calls and actually generating revenue for the business. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because the strategy in this video is not for larger call centers, it's not for larger insurance brokers, maybe firms needing larger volumes of customers or just basically insurance firms with larger teams. Now, the reason I say this is because if you are in that position, you are going to need a different type of strategy. And that is actually the strategy that we provide for our clients. So a quick introduction just here, our firm growmyinsurance.com is the leading marketing agency that works solely with insurance firms and that implements a complete omni-channel multiple touchpoint marketing system with a decade of insurance experience, both inside in sales, uh, insurance sales and insurance marketing. Grow My Insurance is the most comprehensive omni-channel market approach in the entire space if you want to check out our website feel free i'll drop the link below and also if you want to check out our linkedin and that is on screen and in the description as well we work with six and multi six seven figure businesses we work with larger call centers and larger insurance operations so the type of systems that we give to our clients are going to be completely different to what I'm displaying in this video. So let me just quickly explain why I'm making this video. So we're currently using this exact same system to generate calls for our business. We're currently taking around about 40 to 45 individual sales calls with insurance firms on a monthly basis. There is much more capacity for us to do more, but as of right now, that's a really comfortable number for us to move forward with. And I speak to a lot of different type of insurance firms. Some are going to be the individual protection advisors, maybe mortgage brokers who sell protection, or they do life insurance and health insurance as, as a sole operation, or they're just new to owning an insurance firm. And then we speak to a number of bigger insurance firms for multi-six, seven-figure, multi-seven-figure businesses uh, where they've got bigger teams. And that is typically the type of client that we help. So I'm making this video on the basis for you guys that are on the smaller operations, the ones that we unfortunately cannot help and the ones that just don't financially qualify to move forward with our offer. And to be totally upfront with you guys, the reason I'm making this video is if you implement the exact steps in this video to generate your own insurance leads, when you grow and expand in the next three, six, 12 months, you can then come back to this video to us for us to be able to do this on a larger scale for you. So to be totally upfront and honest, I'm making this on the basis that in the future, you come back and say, well, you help me grow my insurance firm here, then you can probably take us to the next level as well. So what I'm gonna explain in this video is give you everything from the scripts, how to make the ads, what ads you need to make, how to set the campaigns up. There is gonna be a few things that I'm not going to share in this video. I'm not going to share the exact headlines and the descriptions to use inside your ads. I'm not going to give you the exact audiences to create ads for. And I'm also not going to show you the you know, how, what Facebook ads is and how to use the platform. There's multiple videos on the internet on how to do that. What I'm going to give you is the, the system, the processes to use and more of a framework because you need to use your own brain because if 100 people watch this video and you all implement the same thing, you're going to be doing the same things, which means you're all going to get exactly the same results. So feel free to add your own personal touch to this. So what are you going to need for this? Now, this is going to be a super simple system. You're not going to need a website. You're not going to need landing pages, tracking codes. All you're going to need is a camera and a phone to record some form of camera or an iPhone or an Samsung or anything like that, anything you can record a video on. You're going to need Facebook ads, which is a free platform, and you're going to need some work 
ethic. You're going to actually need to do the work and do the thing. You can't just watch this video, click off it and think, yeah, that was interesting. You need to actually do the work in the video. So by the way, this document, as well as the other document that I share in this video will be left in the description. Feel free to click onto it, copy it, use it and take all the scripts and stuff inside the video. Step one to this is scripts and record the video itself. Okay, so I write in your scripts and what the script is. So let's jump into this script video. So this is going to be the script that you're going to use for your ads. So the ads at the early stages is going to entail you recording a selfie video on your phone or a camera recording you talking to the camera with some text overlays on it and explaining what you do, who you sell to and what you're actually looking for that person to do. And I'm going to walk you through an exact framework that you can use to create your video that one targets people extremely well calls out people's pain points provides social proof on that you can help people and you can actually deliver the the solution to the problem and also clear call to action so these videos are designed to get somebody to see it and actually take action to move forward. Okay, so the goal of your ads and really the goal of any ad is to elicit a form of response from your ideal customer. Now we do this by calling out the customer directly and we also call out their pain points and basically provide them a solution to fix the problem that they have, okay? So all the ads that we do, uh, any ad that we ask our clients to, to complete if they go down this route or anyone who really just wants to run an ad we always refrain from saying, you know, are you this type of person or do you need this? So, you know, are you looking for health insurance? Are you looking for life insurance? Do you need life insurance? We refrain from that completely from our ads because we want our ads to find the right person more than the other way around. You know, we don't want it to feel that somebody stumbled upon our ad. We want it to feel that our ad has stumbled upon the right person. So completely refrain from saying, are you X, you know, are you whichever product you're running these ads for? So part one to this is call out the person you want to speak to, okay? Call out the person you want to speak to. This is usually best to be done more direct uh, instead of like an indirect. So be extremely accurate and be specific with the type of customer that you want to get in front of and you want to target. So the example of what I'm going to share to you here is, is life insurance, but this can be done across any product. But for the sake of this video, we're going to use, and it is, for the sake of this example, it's going to be life insurance. So life insurance can be broken down into sort of multiple different audiences such, you know, it could be like you're over 50s, it can be seniors, the older people, it can be parents, it can be new time buyers, it can be dads, mums, anything like that, that there's an audience group within that life insurance bracket. If you're doing the new time buyers, I would refrain from, if you are going to do life insurance, refrain from saying mortgages, because this is a special ad category that limits some of your reach on Facebook. You can still go after people who are doing the mortgages but just re refrain from adding that into the wording and the text of the ad you could just say more new time buyers people have just purchased a new home that type of stuff part two to this is is provide a solution or a result that you can provide so realistically this is just case studies this is backing up your claims so if you've recently helped a client save a certain amount of money on their insurance or maybe you've helped a person with sort of medical conditions that couldn't get covered before, look for a solution. Just think about why people are going to come to you, but also think about why somebody should actually be interested. You know, what are you doing for them in return for the policy to go ahead with you effectively? So your offer here is not your service. So refrain from talking about what you're going to be doing, that you're going to be running for a quote with them. You've got really friendly set service. You've got great reviews. Refrain from talking about that, but put more focus on what you deliver to your clients. So some examples for this could be you've saved X percentage for somebody on average, or you complete a whole of market search where others maybe don't do that. You've got the guaranteed acceptance, or maybe if you're a specialist in medical conditions and you're able to do a bespoke medical screening versus maybe other people, then that is a really great offer that you can, that you can build around these ads. So part three to that is provide two or three quick case studies that you can provide proof for. So this is this goes really along with the offer, but also including the person's name and some screenshots as well. So the more legit that you can make this, the more that you're, you're happy to put out your real world results to people, then the more effective these can be. Okay, so basically 
And the results are what people actually believe in, okay? And at the end of the day, the results are what people are buying. The results make people believe that you can actually help them. So without these words, they just mean nothing. Without the results, without the testimonials, without you being able to prove that you can do this, the words just mean absolutely nothing. And part four to this ad is end with a strong call to action, okay? So people need to know what the next step is. You know, you've walked them through this whole process, what you do, who you are. You've, you've followed this structure that I've gone through. You need to finish it off with a call to action. So that might be click this video, fill in your information and get a quote, okay? Or, you know, request a call back. You need to just have a call to action in what do you actually want that person to do next? So let me give you a brief example of what this might look like as far as the script from top down. So you would set up your camera, you press record, and then you'd for this example, we're going for mums and dads. So we're going for parents looking for life insurance. So that script may be mums and dads. We recently saved Karen 40% on her life insurance policy by completing a whole of market review, meaning that she now has peace of mind for her young ones. We help parents save on their life insurance with one simple phone call. This is exactly how we've helped Stephen save over £40 per month on his life insurance, how we helped Bob get cover for his medical conditions when no one else would, and how we helped Sarah save 23% on her renewal. So if you're a parent looking for life insurance and you want expert help searching for the right deal, click this video, enter a few quick details and submit a quote today. Okay, that is a very brief example of what your script would look like and what that video would be. So you want this video to be anywhere between 40 seconds to two minutes long, depends on your case studies and depends on what your offer is centered around, but that gives you a rough outline. Like I said, we're currently running these exact same video formats for our own agency to book over 40 to 45 calls per month. So I'm going to quickly put on screen an example of the video that we're running using this exact same framework. Insurance firms and insurance brokers with proven sales will add a minimum of 315 new policy sales or at least a thousand qualified leads in the next 90 days without a single lead provider in sight. No more web transfers, no more oversaturated leads or having to compete in a bidding war with every single prospect. So what we will do is add a multi-channel acquisition system that gets your customer coming direct, filling out your quote forms, calling a business direct, and even buying online if that ability is there. So let me just show you exactly how this works. Okay, so our client Martin, we generated him in the last 30 days, 128 leads, over 94 phone calls directly to his business. So people come in directly, call in his business, filling out his quote forms direct, generated him over 200 inquiries in the past 30 days for his business. And this is Andy where we help generate 205 leads through this platform over 182 leads for this platform, an average lead cost of just £18.50. Okay, and this is Roland, where we added 172 online policy sales in just 90 days of working with us. And this is Jason, where we added 370 new leads to his business, reducing his overall lead cost by 20% in just three months, and overall improving his lead cost by 25%, adding in 700 leads in the lifetime of working with his client. Okay, and this is Matthew in the past five months, adding over £62,000 worth of online premium for this business. So if you want your team to speak to prospects that actually want to move forward with your business and want quotes, and you want to add 315 new policy sales or at least a 1,000 qualified leads in the next 90 days, completely done for you or you don't pay, then just click below this video, watch a small video on the next page and book in a call. Okay, so step two to this is to edit the ad. So what you want to do is you want to make three different ads. So create three ads across the same audiences. So if you're going for parents, mums and dads, for example, you want three separate ads for the same audiences with a slightly different offer. So what I would recommend is keep the case studies the same, but just make the pain points and the call out slightly different. So maybe, you know, the reason why mums and dads would want it the insurance, is it to protect their home? Is it to protect their family? Is it for some other things as far as maybe if you're doing critical illness cover and certain stuff like that. So create three different ads for the same audience group. So whoever you're going after, if it's people with medical conditions, if it's health insurance, you're going after self-employed. If you're doing income protection, then you're going after self-employed people. Whichever audience you're going after, 
create three different ads, keep the case studies the same, okay, but just the offer itself and the pain points highlight slightly different. The idea here is you want three different pain points that you're trying to elicit a response from, okay? Filming tips for this, film vertically. So if you're using a phone, film upright, don't do landscape, film upright. So, or, or film in four by five, so which is basically square, but slightly longer. Use HD quality, so don't use the front camera, don't use the front camera on the iPhone or anything like that. Use the rear camera, use a higher quality, if you've got a high quality webcam, use that, but it wants to be a HD video. Use good lighting, now it doesn't have to be professional, don't worry about it being, you've got the best clothes on, you've got the best background, you've got the best lighting, just stand in front of a window and record it, that's the, all you need to do. And again, you don't worry about it being professional, but you also don't want to record it in bed, okay? just. You know, it, it's the more natural it feels, the actual better the results will be. Okay, the more connection, direct human to human connection you can make, that the, the the better it the better it performs. Okay, so that's your scripted. You've edited the video. So as of right now, you have mapped out a script for the video. You've recorded the video. You've had that edited, or if you've done it in one take with no cuts, you've added maybe some. Um, some headlines, you've added some subtitles, which you can use free phone applications like CapCut and stuff like that. You've edited it up and you've got three different videos that you can now run ads for. So step three to this is we're going to set up the Facebook ads. So simple, super simple. Log into business.facebook.com. If you don't have one of these, type this URL, business.facebook.com, start an account. If you don't know how to do it, set it up correctly, then just go onto YouTube and put how to set up Facebook ads, how to start a business manager, but go to Ads Manager, create an ad, go for leads, name the campaign, and I'm going to walk you through this. But let me just give you the tips on what we're doing first. We're going to create three ad groups. One of those is going to be broad targeting, meaning it's just as open as possible. The other one is we're going to add some interest that people might be interested in. And the third thing we're going to do is upload a customer list into Facebook and create a lookalike audience and target those as well. So in total, you're going to have three, one campaign, three ad groups with a total of nine ads. So, okay, so we're going to go to the business manager. This is a demo account we're using at the moment. So I'm just gonna walk you through this. You're gonna go up to the top, create leads. You're going to select manual leads campaign down here and continue. We don't wanna be using the advantage plus for the sake of this video. And we do want advanced campaign budget. So just walking you through, this is gonna be the campaign level. You can just call this um, prospecting, insurance, which name it, whichever, whatever you'd like. You do want advanced campaign budget and you do also want to add a total daily budget. Now for this to work, I would recommend you spend anywhere between 500 to 900, maybe a thousand pounds per month. So realistically, you're going to be anywhere between 25 to around about 40 pounds per day. Perfect place to start is going to be £30 per day. Dollars, probably going to be looking around about $40 to $45 per day. Next thing we're going to walk through is to the ad group. Now, the ad groups, we're going to want to select instant forms. So the instant forms, and again, there's a few different ways to do this, but if you are just starting out, I would stick to the instant forms. And again, for the stuff that we do for our clients, we actually send them across to their websites because we help with their landing pages. We make sure the tracking is set up correctly and there's just more advanced steps to being able to generate a higher volume. For yourself, probably looking for a couple of leads per day, then the instant forms are going to be absolutely perfect for you to start. You're not gonna need a website. You're not gonna need to worry about landing page performance. You're not gonna need to worry about tracking and cross correlating that with all the Facebook data as well. Just stick to the instant forms. That is going to get you perfect amount of leads. Select obviously the Facebook page and also just keep it to maximize number of leads. We we'll scroll down, pick a time date that you'd like this to start, select the locations that you want to add this into and, and then down here where it says advantage plus audience, I would open this up and for this one, we're going to actually name this broad. So this is going to be your super broad targeting. So we would select a, a, an average age range we want to be looking for. So this could be 25 to 60, for example, keep all the genders the same and that is for your broad targeting, the first ad group that you want to do. You then want to open up the ad itself and personally I would switch off multi-advertisers um, ads for video ads. These aren't going to be that effective so I would remove that and then add in the video that you're going to be running ads for. 
So once you've uploaded, click the upload, select the three videos. Just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to add one. Once you've done that, add that in and select original, original, original. You don't want this added over on here for these. Just keep them all on original sizes. So once you've added these videos in, I'd also keep all optimizations switched on. You then want to add in a headline. And again, these headlines and these primary texts, I'm not going to give you these, but effectively you just want to map out text what the video explains. Um, so you could just put uh, mums and dads looking for life insurance. Check this out again. I wouldn't worry too much about what this says, but I would just highlight um, your offer exactly what, you know, we can complete your whole market search. We can do this, this, whatever your offer is, highlight some of the testimonials. This is exactly how we helped X person do this and just effectively map out the transcript of the video, but more condensed and just with something that when people read it, it's actually interesting. Add some emojis in there. You don't need to overthink this, but you do just want to have within those first three lines exactly what this video is and who this video is for. The same with this headline. Uh, you could put mums and dads. Life insurance, for example, you can capitalize it. And again, what you'll notice is, is what these previews sometimes don't always work, but if yours do, then you'll get an idea of where this comes up. The same with the description and you can pick a Call to action, get a quote, uh, learn more, for example. Again, I'm going to speed through this quite quickly because a lot of this stuff, if you already know how to run a Facebook ad, it's great. If you don't, then there's going to be loads of other videos for this. Down here, you also want to, this is going to be the incident form. So we want to click on create a form. We want to name it, for the sake of this video, we're going to name it life insurance. We're going to be focusing on more volume for now. And again, later down the line, once you've receive some leads, you receive some feedback, you've got an idea and some data coming through, you might want to create a new one with higher intent, meaning that you can add pre-qualifiers in that you know, if somebody doesn't qualify for your product, then they don't actually submit the quote. But for the idea right now, we, we want to increase the call volume, we want to get some leads coming through, we want to get some sales experience through the door. So I would just go with more volume. Uh, intro, you can add one of these in if you'd like. The question set, we just want to select their email address, their first name, and you can add all this stuff in here. So you can add a question. Uh, if there's a certain question that you want, maybe a short answer, you know, do you currently, you know, are you a holder of life insurance, for example? Any sort of questions that you might want people to answer, you can select additional names here, telephone number, you would obviously want that. If you want their postcode, for example, great. I would recommend, you know, the, the date of birth, for example, anything that you really need to be able to identify if this is a legitimate lead. I would recommend keeping these questions in here somewhat shorter. So I wouldn't add everything. I wouldn't make it a 30 stage quote funnel because the more questions that there are, the less opportunity that you've got that person to actually submit the lead and be converted into a contactable piece of information. But I also would make it long enough so that you don't just get a load of spam stuff come through. So add in a few pre-qualifiers out of uh, an idea of what might, maybe somebody's looking for. If it's a certain a value of product that that person needs, you know, what type of thing are they looking for? And just, you know, build that out for yourself and however you want that to be. Same thing here with the um, privacy policy, you can add a link to the stuff that you've got on your website or anything that you need to across there, how you're actually doing these leads. And then once the lead is submitted, you know, I'd probably just keep this your same. You can visit a website or write in some information. You know, we're now going to be contacting you uh, regarding your quote keep an eye out for your telephone close and keep an eye out for your email because we'll send this over to you as well. Again, I'm not going to walk you through exactly what to say here. Uh, this is really quite straightforward and it really depends on the type of product that you're going to be running ads for, for your own insurance business. But spend some time with this, go through and figure out exactly what you want people to answer and also how you want to portray your message to people. It's really quite simple. And once you've done that, press create a form. So once you've got your ad, what you've got so far is a, a new campaign. You've got yourself a new ad set and you've got yourself a new ad itself. What I would do from that, once you've got, go over to the ads page, I would then duplicate this, duplicate the ad, and then the same. You want to add, you know, video two. So you've recorded three videos and you want to do this a total of three times with each individual 
video that you've recorded. Now for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use the same video and just rename them for the purpose of, of, of explaining this to you. So, so far you've got one campaign, which is your prospecting, your insurance campaign. You've got then your one ad group, which is your audience. And then you've got inside there three individual campaigns. What you want to do is go straight back to ad sets and then you want to duplicate this one. So what you've now got is an additional ad group with the same three ads in it. And down here, we just want to go into detailed targeting and we just want to select some things that people might be interested in. So let's just say these are mums and dads. So we want to probably be looking for sort of parents. We want to be looking for, um, um, you know, people who are interested in kids. Oh, we probably don't want to be looking for people interested in kids, but <laughs> you can get the idea. Parenting, children, uh, family, you know, you click on this suggestion and you can go through some of this stuff. And again, you can just add in a number of things here that you're interested in and what you think would be a really good uh, interest for the type of people that you're targeting. And again, I wouldn't really think too much on this because we want to keep the audiences quite broad. I wouldn't go just one at a time. And I wouldn't really keep these super narrow. I would keep these, if you look at this, when I hover over parents, the audience size is like 300 million, which obviously doesn't include, that's just the overall audience group within the Facebook platform. So again, I would just sort of add in a few things and it really depends on if you're going after business owners, for example, you want to have these interests relevant for sort of businesses, owners of Facebook pages and company directors and that type of stuff, accounting softwares. Again, so th th this one here that you just want your interests, terrible spelling. And then the last one we want to do is to duplicate this and add in a look alike audience okay so this is going to be your look alike audience now with a look alike audience you don't want any of the detailed targeting so you want to remove all the detailed targeting within there and then you want to go to custom audiences and add in a look alike audience i'm going to briefly explain how to do this but again there are so many videos on how to do this just go into audiences so press the little search bar it is also if you drop down this hamburger audiences in there but if you just type in the little search bar down the bottom audiences you're then going to want to create a custom audience, a customer list, and then inside here, you can download the file template and you want to add in leads that you've got. So these are probably people that have reached out to you before, people who have received quotes from you, people who have purchased from you. You want to upload that customer information under this file template with all of the customer's information that you have, the email address, the date of birth, the locations, the postcodes. And then once you've gone through that, you want to upload that into Facebook. Once you've uploaded that, you will select the audience. Obviously, I've not got any audiences here, but you will select the audience, for example, and you will press here where it says lookalike audience. You'll create a lookalike audience. You'll select your, your page. You'll also select the location that you want to target. And then, in my opinion, you want to make three different um, ones of these and you can test things out. I would personally go for a 3%, a 5% and a 10%. So you can create three versions of these lookalike audiences. Go straight back into your campaigns, into your ad groups, where it says lookalike audiences here. We'll just scroll down and add these audiences in under custom audiences. You'll have the drop downs and I will drop them into there. So then what you've got is you've got a broad targeting, you've got interest best targeting and you've got lookalike targeting. Inside there, you'll have these three ad groups under one campaign and you'll have a total of nine ads, three in each ad group, a total of nine running. OK, once you've done that, you're absolutely all set. You've scripted your video, you've recorded the video, you've created the Facebook ads, you've uploaded them, you have put yourself a lead form and then you've selected a daily budget. You then want to go to review and publish and launch these ads you're then going to be up and running your leads will come through in facebook in the lead center which again just google it just google facebook lead forms where do i find the leads go on to youtube there's loads of videos explaining exactly where they land they actually do land in here as well so you can download the file in results and you can just download them you can also add a load of apps to have them sent directly to maybe email addresses or to your phone to automatic dialers however you've got things set up and again there's so many videos to be able to do that but the the leads do just come through on facebook so you can just download them directly within the lead center super simple i'm not going to show you that exactly now 
um, because there's so many videos explaining how to do that. But this is the format, the process that we're using to be able to generate or you can use to generate insurance leads for Facebook ads. This is a completely different process to what we deliver for our clients. We don't typically use, we don't use any lead formats. We actually send things across to their website because we've got firms who have online e-commerce, buy online facility, and also larger call centers with uh, big, large staff members we use a different type of um, ad format as well because we actually have a content team in-house that being able to deliver this for you and a load of other different stuff. But for example, you know, let's just say in the future, you've got through this video, you've done it, seen massive results and you've got to a stage now where you've got a larger insurance firm and maybe this isn't the best system for you. If you are interested in us implementing our strategies to be able to then take you to the next level or if you're an insurance firm already at that stage and for some reason you've watched all this video, then you want us to help you out you know, on a complete paid and results basis. You want us to help you increase quality leads, policy sales. Like I said, this is for insurance firms with an already existing sales process firms who have established teams already have systems and processes in place and want to make them explode and get to the next level it's completely done for you it's growmyinsurance.com feel free to schedule a call with us really appreciate you watching this video if you do have any questions whatsoever feel free to reach out to me over on linkedin drop a comment below this video and i'll try and get back to anyone with any questions but hopefully you found some massive value without any question about it. you run these style of ads you are going to see a massive spike in qualified insurance lead volume appreciate it like subscribe do all that good youtube stuff appreciate you watching the video thanks again cheers